Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 15 box World Series Baseball Mixer. It's a random team break. No vet common ship in this. All 30 teams are in. And here are the boxes involved here. Looks like a pretty solid break. Got some jersey, a jersey in there too, some 2020 stuff, some 2013 select baseball, some archives, some sapphire, some series one, some dynamic duels. Right there, those are, those are pretty good. Big thanks to, nobody? Big thanks to, wait for it, all of these people for getting into the action. Whether you bought spots straight up or whether you won spots, congrats. And if we do those two other mixers tonight, folks, everyone on this list will be eligible for that break credit. There are the teams right there, all 30 are in. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Six and a one, seven times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Josh Allen down to Chris Farquhar. Six and a one, seven times for the teams. One, two, three. Seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got the Reds down to the Strohs. All right, so Josh, you have the Red Legs. Kyle with the Fightin' Phils. Daniel with the Tigers. Anthony with the Cubbies. Christopher P. with the Halos. Levi with the Rays. Chris with the Rocks. TJ with the Metropolitans. Adam with the Fish. Chris with the Tribe, Roger with the Shy Sox, Tyler with the Bow Sox, James with the M's, Adam with the Cards, the Red Birds, the Twinkies going to Wes, the Friars for Levi, the Gigantes for Richard Johansson, Chris F with the Rangers, Matt with the Bravos, Franklin with the O's, Logan with the Royals, Matt with the Brew Crew, Rick with the Bronx Bombers, Franklin with the Buckos, uh, Matt with the Snakes and the Bluebirds. Franklin with the Athletics, Logan with the Nats, Kyle gets Dem Bums, the Dodgers, and Chris with the Strohs. Go Dodgers. All right, let's get all that on one page. Let's sort by column B, and let's box these up here. I'm going to pause the video, allow for some trading time while I uh, grab the boxes and set up this break, and then when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have some action. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. So we got Nick Jaspi here and right over my shoulder on this camera. He's going to be ripping that box up there on the Nick cam, which I feel like Nick looks too pale on there. I don't think that's his correct skin tone, ladies and gentlemen, nor is that. Let's warm that up a little bit. There you go. Oh, put, put, some, put some color in his skin there. I think we're good here. I think the lighting is good. All right, that's a little dark. Let me brighten it up this way. All right, there you go. So there he is on the Nick Cam, looking good. Um, there were no trades, a little bit of uh, trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So let's roll with this. Let's print and rip. One mixer down, two to go to unlock that break credit promo tonight, boys and girls. So we're giving away a total of $750 of break credit. Basically, whether you bought a spot straight up or whether you won a spot, right? We're just copying that list right here and then putting it into a fresh list and the other one and the other one. Just the names right here. Randomize it. You might win some break credit, which would be nice. Adam watched a little uh, Angels in the Outfield earlier. I have not seen that in a while. How does, it, how does that hold up? I haven't seen it recently. I remember it being great. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Oh, wow, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's in that. I forgot about that. 18 out of 25, Randy Dobnek for the Minnesota Twins. We'll also do a recap at the end, so if you're re-watching this video, Matthew you can scroll through. Matthew McConaughey was not in that. That's where he got his start. Almost. Angels in the Outfield? It's one of his first movies. No, hold on. Sorry, guys. That's one of his film debuts. What? That's one he gained notoriety. 
All right, all right, all right. Matthew McConaughey's not in Angels of the Outfield. Dude. Matthew McConaughey was in Angels of the Outfield. <laughs> is the first is the first headline right here. Wow. Dude, he was great in that. He had him. What does he do? Is he? He's literally an outfielder. He's an outfielder. Yeah. McConaughey's an outfielder in this. He gets the ball hit to him. Was that him? No, I'm watching. It shows his face. There's a Luis Robert Crusade. Nice. All of those add up, of course. And Kyle Lewis, that adds up. Wow, what a patch. Eight out of ten, three color patch, and on card autograph, Kyle Lewis. I can't believe you didn't know Matthew McConaughey was the name. I'm, watch I'm watching the clip right now. This guy's not getting to it. No, he's not. Why? why what's this big gotta, lead? That's a long lead in. Until he gets introduced. Here we go. Here, here it comes. He's gonna he he the catches the fly ball? Yeah, he gets gifted by the... There he is. That's Matthew McConaughey for sure. He's Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Wow. And look, he's going to get the angel that comes to him. I think he's the first angel that... The first angel that saves him? the angel. There's McConaughey. Why is he running so far? Why was he playing so shallow? He was playing really shallow. He should not have to... Wow. I am stunned. James gets the stunning Kyle Lewis. And there's uh, Luis Robert with the White Sox. Danny Glover? Roger Ness. Yeah, Danny Glover's in that, too. Yeah, that's one of his first... Um, yeah, and then he slings the ball back in after being lifted by the Angels. There you go. We watched, we watched that clip right there. Well, look it up. It's on YouTube, folks. My mind is blown. There's Corey Seager. Right there to seventy five. Damn. She's gonna be close of the Angels in the outfield. Just <laughs> no, yeah, I can't watch clips of the Angels in the outfield this entire time. It auto played the next video and it's all just Angels in the outfield. I think it's better than Major League. Uh, I don't like. I don't like Major League. You don't like Major League? I don't know. They're kind of different movies, though, right? No, they are. One's like more of an adult movie. One's definitely one's, a kid's movie. One's very um, adultish. El Canone saying that Lewis is probably the nicest patch you've seen in Chronicles this year. Yeah, it actually was. Pretty nice. There's Austin Meadows. Piece of his jersey. My Dodgers tied up with the Rays. 1-1. One, one. Be a fun series. Another Luis Robert for Roger. All of those Luis Roberts will, will add up little by little. Another Luis Robert. Wow. To 199. 149 out of 199. Another one for Roger. Got a bit of that red wave in the background there, which is cool. And we got Harold Castro, autograph, playbook auto for Detroit. That's going to be for Daniel. And we got Travis Demery to 99, and that Obsidian Design, and Gavin Lux on the back. Hopefully, you'll see a lot of Gavin Lux next year. All right, let's go with some old elite right here, boys and girls. There it is. So that's 2015 Panini Elite Baseball. There's Barry Bonds, throwback threads. It's for the Giants, my rivals, Richard. There he is. That's, uh, yeah, game more material. Oh, 
There's Chris Davis to 49. Chris with a C. Kyle Young, Buster Posey looks right there. And we got a Freddie Freeman. Wow. Status die cut autograph, 8 out of 25. Could be your NL MVP this year, ladies and gentlemen. Matt Lieber, who won that spot in an optic blaster break. Gets randomized the Braves and gets a nice Freddie Freeman die cut autograph. That's pretty nice. In fact, the, the die cut actually pretty cool too. A lot of times if they've been in these packs long enough, you start to see some weird stuff in the in the sharper points right here, but it's pretty nice. Oh, Frank Frank says, I have the O's and the A's. You do. So you'll take all Chris Davis cards. C Chris Davis, K Chris Davises, all the Davis I will go to you. Nice. So that base is covered. We got a members only jacket? No. Members only bat. Jose Bautista. That'll go to the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Matt L. There's Tommy LaStella, 21st century autograph out of Elite. That's going to go to the Cubbies, Anthony. You're holding out hope that, I, I don't know, who's Kumar Rocker? Says he'll only play for the Red Sox. Number one pick, probably. Pitcher from Vanderbilt, when, I believe. When's that draft happening? This, I mean, whenever the MLB draft is. There's status, 4 out of 10, Justin Upton. This is Padres edition, going to Levi. They had a they had a tag court this year. I forget what it was. A lot of Angels Twitter was on it this year. Like hmm. the tank for Rocker. Tank for so-and-so, yeah. Like tank for Tua. I forgot what it was for him. Drop for Rock. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. 2013. It was like... 2013 select. Play something for... Well, that draft has to happen, so Bowman draft could happen, right? Didn't they do the MLB draft? Did they do the MLB draft? Yeah, they already did Oh. He's next year. He's for next year, I see. All right. This is going to be expired, but it's Alan Webster. Red Sox. Really? Yeah. 100%? No. Oh, okay. Red Sox, nice. Although, would it be Red Sox? 2013, 20, yeah, 2013. Yeah, it would be Red Sox. This is 2013, 2013, elite 2013, 2013 select. select. Alan Webster's Red Sox. Definitely Red Sox. That'll go to Boston. That'll be for Tyler Brenner. Now, I know it's expired, Tyler, but you know the drill. Contact Panini. Hit them up. They'll probably give you points. Or, I mean, if they have the card laying around, I'm sure they'll give that to you too. But most likely, they'll give you some points. I think I've heard that card. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I bought a box in 2013. What's Alan Webster doing right now? He was selected by the Dodgers. But then traded to the Red Sox in 2011 or something like that. Samsung then Lion, I think. Came up with a... Was a Samsung Lion. He signed a minor league deal with the Nats this year, but then was released in May. Yeah. All right, Adrian Beltre, Silver. And Will Myers, rookie autograph. That's pretty nice. Tampa Bay. Levi Johnson got randomized the Rays. Rookie Will Myers, pretty solid. 59 out of 500. Yeah, these poster ideas are kind of terrible. Uh, 
it's it's not like a big. For, it's not great for breaking. It's, yeah, there's it's, it's a big old crease in the middle of it. All right, there's in Fuego the Adam Jones. For it, Tops Archives. I don't know. They should put it in like you know big league or opening day or something. I could see that. Yeah, that makes sense. Like a kid product. Kind of hard to see the names here, but there's Andrew Werner, 558 out of 750 rookie autograph for the Athletics. That's going to be for Franklin. There you go, Frank. So do they call them A's on some cards and Athletics on the others for tops? I think they always go A's. Tops does. Do they? Is there an official name that Athletics? Oh, they're the Oakland Athletics, yeah. You think they have to go by? I don't know. They're not calling. The, they're not putting D-backs on the cards. It's true. I think A's might be the exception just because of history. Adam Coverman saying abhorrence for Trevor Lawrence. That'd be pretty good. Remember when Junior Lake was supposed to be the next big deal in Chicago? Here's goes to Anthony. Rookie. Six seventy five out of seven fifty. Well the pull unfortunately it will have to ship. There's Mike Trout, select team gold. Which should should be nice, yeah. Christopher P with the Angels. Is it out of ten? No, it's out of twenty five. Still nice though. I think Oh, maybe it's more orange. I thought it was gold. I thought it was gold, too. Does that look orange now? looks sort of orangish. No, it's orangey. But I know that, like, base Mike Trout still go for, like, 10 bucks out of here. Silver Mike Trouts go for a lot more, 50, yeah, 60 nice. bucks. So that should that should do pretty well. Um, what do we got here? Let's get some Donner's baseball going here. Oh, yeah, look at the little guys out there, too. Here are the T206s. They want to, what's the John Fogarty song? Put him in center field. You know? Yeah. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. Blake, man, that guy looked really good against my Dodgers yesterday. Alex basically says he was there for like the, the debut of that song. What? Yeah. <laughs> And he always bragged about knowing John Fogarty's daughter. Yeah, I mean, yes, we all we know her. Yeah. But <laughs> that song was from like the '80s. We weren't there for like the debut of that no, song. Just, I was just oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're. I get what you're saying. He's bragging so much, like he might as well yeah, been there since the well beginning. Like he was, might as well saying he he founded the Creedence Clearwater Revival. Yeah. Wow, you had a silver Mike Trout out of here. Got a BGS 9.5, sold it for 300 bucks. And the last base, best offer was 100 bucks on that card. Yeah, his Prism. Mm -hmm. There you go, Mike Trout. His Prism 2012 base goes for a ton. Yeah. Wow. It's Corey Seager. It's not numbered, but it will ship. I think these, these, are, these are considered the base cards. So everything that doesn't look like this. That's not a rookie. Well, shit. Or, vice, whatever. You know what I mean. Like, these will shit. Those are inserts. That's not gonna shit. This will shit. That'll shit. These, Clayton will not shit, but AJ Puck's a rated rookie, so he will shit. And, Kirby puck with the fire emojis around the border will ship. Degrominator will ship. Nobody calls him. That. Nobody calls him Grominator. Trent Grisham will ship. And is this our first hit out of the box? It is. It's Cole Tucker for the Buckos. That'll be for Franklin McKenzie. 
That could be a new game show, Mike Tower. Will it ship? Hey, everybody. Welcome to Will It Ship, America's favorite game show. Does Brian got signed by the Ravens? What? You see the top rope, right? Wow. Or else it's just like a rumor. Maybe they're talking about it. Was Aaron Judge to 999? No, Logan. This is not the baseball mixer. It's yeah, just a bunch of just a bunch of, the just a bunch of different boxes. Wow, Des Bryant joined the practice squad. Oh, Frank gave it away. Tony Gonsolin, a bit of a rough start for him yesterday. And there's Pete Alonso. That is for the Metropolitan. That goes to TJ. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Mr. Logan, you ended up getting. That's Logan Douglas. There's two Logans in this break. Logan Coster, you have the Nationals. You won that spot in Optic Blaster 22. You got randomized. Nats. No Nats yet. I have not seen any Nats. There's Josh. Going to the Pirates. Frank. No, this, this breaks are a little uh, are a little longer, Mike Tower. So yeah, we, we can go off off baseball topic. Well, in fact, we're talking about that right now. My Raiders sent home the entire offensive line. I like how they're not doing it on Tuesday night so that they can get um, a Sunday night game stuff. They don't want to sacrifice the ratings. What for? So what for? Who? Everyone's clowning on the NFL because they pushed back the. Raiders game till Sunday night, they're saying? Oh, did they? I didn't know that. I don't know. I saw something. I was like, oh. Hmm. Well, Mike Tower turned, uh, not, a, not a football coaching expert, but I do know that an offensive line is pretty important to, uh, to play a football game. So... I'm hoping that uh, that it's much ado about nothing, that everyone's happy and healthy, test negative, and they can go out and and then and then try to try to win a football try to win a football game against the Buccaneers, which should be tough. Spencer Torkelson. That's going to go to uh, the Tigers. Draft, huh? Yeah, it's kind of kind of importante. Tigers. This guy should be a pretty big deal. The first overall. Oh, no. oh is that it? Nice. Oh, and then the jersey. Last. What? Ugh. It's like Spencer Torkelson on one side and then Bregman on the other side. I gotta randomize. I gotta randomize it. Ugh. What a hassle. It's kind of an important player, so I guess we'll have to do it. No, I think it's. I think it's a. I think it's just a. A two-player card. Is well, how it like it? past and present? No, it's not past and present. I think it's a mistake. But we don't know if it was supposed to be Torkelson or it's supposed to be Bregman. Bregman. So you gotta randomize Yeah, I'd have to randomize it anyway, so alright. Sorry. Alright, that's kind of a hassle.
Wander Franco. Could be a very big deal for the Rays. That goes to Levi. I know. I guess right, TJ, on the on the Torkelson. You think the game was Sunday night of oh, the Raiders? So they could potentially move it again without leaving the Sunday. Oh, okay. I got you. Well, let's see. Oh, they're all like that, TJ. Saying that's kind of annoying. All right, let's get this. Let's move on, and let's get into some Topps Chrome Baseball. 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball. Mike Trout die cut. Patrick Corbin refractor. Tim Anderson hyper. Remember Randy Arozarena? This guy's pretty good. This is still Cardinals edition. That goes to Adam Kupperman. I know his rookie cards are doing pretty well on a secondary market. I don't know why they, why did they move this guy? Right, yeah, Arozarena is currently my rival. This is true. And we got Joe Palumbo, on-card autograph for Chris F. and the Rangers. Who would they get back for Randy Arozarena? Cardinals have moved him and Lou Voigt the past few years. I guess they only care about pitching is this guy. Yeah, I guess so. Al Lewis. There's Logan Webb. That'll be for the Giants. That'll be for Richard. Oh yeah, the they got him for Matt Libertor. It's 157 out of 499 for my lifelong rivals, the Giants. Richard again with that one. There's Tony Gonsolin, purple to 299. Luis Robert. White Sox, Roger Ness. Racking him up. And we got Archie Bradley in the back right there. Wait, did I go through? Did I go through these? <laughs> I don't remember if I went through these. Or, oh no, I did. Yeah. There was that freshman flash, Dustin May. Yeah, I did. For a second there, I thought I didn't go through these ones. Yeah, I went through all of these ones. Yeah, that Mike Trout was there too. All right. All right, next box. Let's do let's do this one here. Now, out of the box, there's a little little ding in that corner there, but it's hard. They shouldn't really box toppers have such a high propensity to get nicked up a little bit. All right, uh, that Miguel Cabrera goes to Detroit, and that will be for Daniel. That's a Gavin Lux autograph. Look at that. That's out of the extra silver pack from this set. Kyle Cook with my Dodgers. There you go. He's on the taxi squad. 100 out of 199. Should be a big... Uh, he's on the taxi squad for the Dodgers right now in case of like COVID or injury or something like that. But should be 
should be your starting uh, starting second baseman starting next year and hopefully for years to come. That's the idea. Nelson Cruz, Willie Ademis, and Chris Bryant, 36 out of 50. That's a pretty cool commemorative patch. That's awesome. That goes to Anthony and the Cubbies. Jumbo jersey sleeve patch. I think this is a manufactured patch. Yeah, it says right there, but still looks pretty cool. It says... The jumbo jersey sleeve patch on the front of this card was specially created for 2020 Topps Baseball Series 1. That's so cool, though. Yeah, right? That's pretty cool, pretty cool patches popping from this mixer. Remember, folks, we've got to do a couple more mixers tonight if we want to unlock that uh, break credit promo tonight. So get into those other mixers. I think both of the mixers still require a couple fillers for each, but I think we can fill them up tonight. And I think we can make it happen. And give away some money, which you could use for the... Use for whatever you want, but there is a brand new release tomorrow, XR Football, so you can do that too. Or buy into more breaks for tonight. I like Kiki Hernandez's high leg kick right there. Can't forget this guy for Adam Copperman, the Cardinals. He's doing pretty well. Raking. That guy's raking. Does he does he keep it up? There was someone yesterday who was saying, nah, his his is this playoff bump for Randy Ars Randy is just a uh, just a flash in the pan, the person said yesterday. There's Logan Allen for the Indians, Chris Farquhar. So I don't know. Is, is he a flash in the pan, or, or, or is he going to be an offensive force for years to come? Michael Bias, 220. I think I missed another one earlier. All, all of that will ship.
And we got Joey Gallo, piece of his bat. Major League material for Crisp and the Rangers. Kyle Lewis, another M, another Kyle Lewis for the M's, going to James, James with Mariners, Kyle Lewis could be a good candidate for a Rookie of the Year, it's either going to be him or Luis Robert I would imagine. That Ichiro is also Mariner's edition. That is numbered as well. That is uh, 40 out of 299. It's a cool looking card. cards there and there you go next box what do we got here let's go with what do we have here let's go with this one here all right see it oh you're not leaving I thought you were leaving It's all right side up and upside down. Come on. All right, there's Luis Robert. And we got a Buck Showalter auto. Remember old Buck Showalter? That goes to Franklin with the Orioles. What's old Buck Showalter doing? Like, yeah, he was managing up till t uh, the Orioles up to 2018. I don't know what he's doing after. I don't think he's doing any, just hanging out, I guess. You think he manages again? He's 64 years old. It's not, not that old. That goes to Franklin and the Orioles. So that's Ray's edition of Randy Arzarena right there. All right, there is Ray's edition of Randy Arzarena. That one will go to Levi. And here's another Luis Robert for Roger. And we got Mike Pagli Arulo. Pagli Arulo? 
Everyone, anyone remember him? Yankees, Bronx Bombers, Rick Beckett. And there's another Kyle Lewis for the Mariners for James. The facsimile autograph on there. Logan can't decide if he wants to open his boxes of, what, 2020 triple threads? Or see how high they get in price? I would just pop them open. But that, that popping things open, popping boxes open is, is in my nature. So I would always opt for that. And there's a mini Jake Fraley for the Mariners. Another Kyle Lewis. Steve Carlton to 99. That's for the Phillies, Kyle. 29 out of 99. And we've got another Luis Robert inside a television set. Nathan, I think the thanks for grabbing that spot, but I don't think it's sold out yet. Check out. Uh, Check to see if the filler is done yet. And as for time, there's a break schedule in the chat that you can always reference to see when that will when that will officially happen. And the schedule also should tell you what fillers we need to accomplish to uh, to fill any particular break. I usually keep try to try my best to keep that updated. Ah, there you go. So Adam and Logan saying they're fillers. Always look out for those fillers, ladies and gentlemen. And always reference the uh, break schedule because I will I will always do my best to make sure that all the requisite fillers are are there on the site. So you're like, hey, what needs to fill? Or how many more do we need to do before we can unlock this break? All that information on your break schedule. For the Brewers, Josh Hader. Some tops chrome here. Vlad Guerrero Jr. edition. That'll go to Matt and the Blue Jays. And Chris Shaw is your autograph. Richard with the Giants. And Miguel Cabrera purple to 299 for the Tigers, Daniel. Ooh, and a redemption coming up. Right? Yeah, it looks like a redemption. It is a redemption.
Yeah, it's probably thrown out, Ted. You know you can't leave things around here. They'll just get tossed. And there's rookie Pete Alonzo. TJ with the Mets. Go Teej. And the autograph is John Duplantier. That goes to Matt and the Diamondbacks. Logan guessing a Juan Soto redemption. Is that a two for that? That would be nice. That would make Logan very happy. Any other guesses for bragging rights, ladies and gentlemen? There's Jose Urania, 12 out of 50. There he is right there. That's the guy Logan's looking for. This is for the Marlins. Adam with the Marlins, 12 out of 50 on that gold shimmer. And we got rookie David Fletcher for the Angels, Chris P with the Halos. Strikes the ball pretty well, David Fletcher. Brian, Brian Lau with a couple dingers last night. There's, there he is again. Both of those for the Rays, Levi, Ran Lau. Not to be confused with his teammate, Nate Lowe. And there's Steven Gonsalves for the Twins, Wesley Loring. All right, so behind Starling Marte is going to be a rookie autograph. So that, that, that rules out Mark McGuire and Vlad Guerrero Sr. It's rookie autograph of B E Dennis Santana, Dodgers. Nice. That will go to Kyle Cook. Hard throwing pitcher for the Dodgers. Some good swing and miss stuff. Could be part of, big part of their bullpen plans next year. All right. We've got a couple fun things left. We got those, uh, remember the the dual auto set that they did? So I think that's the autograph. Is there, I kind of flip that over there. I think that's the auto. There's a duel right there. Those are teammates. So for these ones, we'll do left-right randomizers. Yeah. 
This will randomize separately, because I think it's numbered. Oh, maybe it's not numbered, but it's a parallel, so we'll, be, we'll randomize that separately between those two teams. And behind here is, and these are the same team. One out of 25 dual autograph, Chris Paddock and Fernando Tatis Jr. Nice, that'll be for Levi and the San Diego Padres. One out of 25, that's very nice. Yeah, the Tops On Demand Dynamic Duels. Pretty cool set. All right, so next one, where's the auto? It's always the first card that, yeah. So that's where the auto is. I think they're the same, it's the same base set right there. And ooh, I see some Dodgers. Are they both Dodgers? They are. The future of the Dodgers right here. Who's got my boys in blue? Kyle Cook has a Los Angeles Dodgers gets the Dustin May Gavin Lux. Rookie autographs. Very nice. This guy should be a big part of the team for years to come, I hope. That's the plan anyway. Dustin may struggle a little bit last night, but still only like, what, 22, 23 years old? You know, first year being thrown into World Series action, but but he should be, should be great. All right, here is the last box. Sapphire. We've got Alex Dickerson for the Giants. Orange, had to go to Richard. 11 out of 25. Jonathan Gray, I thought no, it looked like a different parallel, but it might just be the colors in the background. And Abraham Toro, autograph for the Astros. That's going to go to Christopher F. Jordan Alvarez and a James Captain Marvel. That'll go to the Pirates. I'll go to Franklin. Two out of 25 on that one. All right, folks. Last thing is the jersey. For put your thinking caps on for America's favorite game. Who am I? All 
All right. I am a retired pitcher. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. An eight-time All-Star. A World Series champion. A four-time NL Cy Young Award winner. He's pretty good. An 18-time Gold Glove Award winner. A three-time MLB wins leader. A four-time MLB ERA leader. Chicago retired his number. Atlanta retired his number. Part of uh, Atlanta's Hall of Fame. And a first ballot Hall of Famer with 97.2% of the first ballot votes. Career, 355 wins. I don't think we see a lot of starters with 300 wins anymore. 316 earned run average and over 3,000 strikeouts. 3,371 strikeouts. Yep, Frank's got it. Greg Maddox. He, he was He's pretty incredible. He played for the Cubs twice, played for the Dodgers twice. Uh, won the chip with the Braves in 1995. It was a pretty good hitter, too. So he's got a good prank video against uh, Chris Bryant, I think. It's, it's also kind of funny if you, if you watch that. Uh, I, I, every time we see Greg Maddox, and it's Cubs edition of Greg Maddox. There he is in those Cubs colors. Every time... I uh, we we pull like a Greg Maddox. I always want to tell people there's there has to be a documentary about him just being so in command with his pitches, so in command with his pitches that he would be able to say I'm going to throw this and he's going to hit it this way. I think his, there's like a section on Wikipedia that has it as well. Both number thirty ones. Uh, retired by their respective, the Braves and the Cubs. He was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Cubs, that'll be for Anthony with Cubs edition of Greg Maddox. I'm going to leave it just a custom jersey. But I'm going to leave it uh, nicely folded in the bag and everything. Pretty cool stuff. All right, now we got some randomizing to do. All right, so these we're going to do separately, and this will just represent the, the base left-right cards right there. We need one, two, three, four, five lists. All right, so on the front side, we got Spencer Torkelson. It looks like an error, but... Detroit on the front side and Houston on the back side. The next one, we had the Kenny Lofton Lou Brock card. A couple speedsters there. The next red parallel, it was um, on the left side, Garrett Cole. And on the right side was Tampa Bay Rays' Charlie Morton, which they were just talking about on MLB Network. The blue parallel was between, oh, Jacob deGrom. And his former teammate on the Phillies now, Zach Wheeler. And then just the left-right randomized right there. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a six, nine times for each list. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, those left side cards will get them. Right there. Nine times for the Torkelson Bregman card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine times, Detroit will get that. That'll be for Daniel. Then I think I did the red parallels first. 
Yeah, Lou Brock, Kenny Lofton, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time, Kenny Lofton. Cleveland will get that one. That'll be for Chris F. There's the other red one. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time, Charlie Morton on top. That'll go to the Tampa Bay Rays. Levi with that one. Here's the uh, Jacob deGrom, Zach Wheeler. Once again, nine times. One, two, three. And a ninth and final time. After nine times, Philadelphia, Zach Wheeler, Kyle Cook with that blue dynamic duel right here. I don't know what the short print levels are on these, but they are parallels. And that's it, folks. Let's do a quick recap. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Remember, for this rate, I mean, these were, these were really cool, right? For, the, um, for that break credit promo to unlock, for the people involved in this break, if you want to try to end up making some money at the end, maybe help fill up those other, uh, those two other mixers. Only the people involved in the mixers will be involved with the break credit. So check it all out, ladies and gentlemen. That was nice Freddie Freeman there too. So a lot of good stuff. Some Luis Roberts up front and really nice Kyle Lewis as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for getting involved in the uh, the 15 box World Series baseball mixer. More mixers in store on jazbeescasebreaks.com and go Dodgers. Bye bye.